Hello my friends, it is Crystal and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working in the kitchen, getting things done. I have some cleaning, cooking, and organizing to share with you in today's video. Right now though, I am just sweeping up a mess that the twins made. They were actually playing with kinetic sand and slime, which that's a terrible combination by the way. I do not recommend it, but I wanted to get that cleaned up before we get started making our meal. Let's talk about love. I am a big clean as I go type person, meaning that as I am kind of cooking our meal, I also like to clean the dishes or at least load the dishwasher. That way when the meal is over, I'm not left with a giant mess. And so in order to do that, I actually need to unload the dishwasher, put all the clean dishes away, and then I can just fill it right back up as I am cooking. It's just a never ending cycle. In that good way, so come on, baby. Let's talk. Let's talk about love. Like you and me all night, and let's talk about love. Today I'm also going to be sharing a little bit of kitchen organizing as well. A while back I did a kitchen organize with me type video and one drawer that I really struggled with was my silverware drawer. The organizer I had was too small, it was sliding and I tried a bunch of your suggestions, it still just wasn't ideal. So I found this bamboo one off of Amazon and I love it. And so I actually ordered another one for the drawer underneath that one. So I'll be sharing that with you here very soon. I've got something on my mind. I bet you know what I'm thinking about. I've got something on my mind. Let's talk about love. I am always talking about how cooking is not my strong point. You all know that. And today I'm very excited to be working with HelloFresh. So a big thank you to them for sponsoring this video. Now I do share HelloFresh on my channel quite a bit because we honestly just love it so much. It makes things a lot easier for me and my hubby just is always happy. He's always asking, is it a HelloFresh week? <laughs> but their service is very flexible where you can skip a week whenever you need to, which I like to have as an option because you just honestly never know when something will come up. HelloFresh has just changed the way I think about cooking. I find that I feel more confident in the kitchen when I'm making their meals. And all of their fresh ingredients are pre-portioned and packed so nicely in their own little bag. I just love the presentation of it as well. But the meals come with fresh vegetables, which I've talked about in the past that I really love, but I also wanna mention their meat quality. Now, I am a pretty picky eater and very selective, and I will say I have never been disappointed in the quality of the meat that they send. I also really appreciate that they have so many recipes to choose from each week. We always love the family-friendly ones that they have. Today I'm actually preparing some meatballs with some roasted carrots, ginger, rice, and sriracha crema. I rarely cook things that sound this nice unless it's from HelloFresh. So you saw me earlier this week out doing my grocery shopping and it always just makes those trips a little bit easier because I don't have to worry about the meal planning, tracking down all of the ingredients in the grocery store, with two twins on my side. So if you are looking to change things up in the kitchen, definitely use my coupon code. It is crystals80 to get $80 off, including free shipping on the first box and additional restrictions apply. So visit hellofresh.com for more details. This is just something I really enjoyed, especially as we have been cooking at home a lot more these days. Okay, so my honest opinion of the meatball meal, it was probably one of my 
most favorite meals I have tried from HelloFresh, and that's a pretty bold statement because we have tried quite a few. There's some close contenders, but this one was so good. Now most days I will just load all of my pans and dishes into the dishwasher, but today I actually needed to wash my other organizer and so I decided since I had soapy water that I was going to need, I might as well just get these pans all washed up as well. So I'm going to just clean all of these and let them kind of air dry while I move on and do some additional cleaning in the kitchen. Some of the cleaning I would like to get done in the kitchen today is one, clean the countertops off. I am just using the Mrs. Meyers multi-surface cleaner in the apple cider scent. I love that one. And then I also would like to wipe down our kitchen cabinets as well as clean our stainless steel appliances. I'm going to be trying out an e-cloth for the very first time. I purchased this kitchen pack off of Grove Collaborative. And as you can see, our appliances <laughs> really need a good wipe down. Now I've heard from just some friends that this works really well for them. So I'm giving it a try. It came as a two pack. So there was like a cleaning cloth as well as a polishing cloth. So I got the cleaning cloth wet. I'm just wiping down all of the appliances and following it up with that blue polishing cloth. My honest thoughts are it does a really good job of cleaning, but polishing, I, I feel like my other stainless steel polish does just a little bit better, but it definitely worked pretty good and they look a lot better. Now moving on to organize my drawer. So I wish we had like really wide drawers where I could fit all of our utensils in one drawer, but it just, it, 
that's not what this kitchen has and so I'm going to be using basically that second and third drawer for all of like our kitchen utensils so this top one is more for things that we use every single day and then the next one down is one that we still use just not every single day if you know what I mean so I only purchased one of these organizers because I have some things that I know won't fit in there but I am obsessed and I was actually a little bit nervous about them. They are extendable, but I actually need them on the very smallest setting. Nervous if they were going to fit. So you'll see me wedge it in there. They do fit. It's a very tight fit, but I like that because now they do not slide around and drive me crazy. If you are enjoying today's video, I would so very much appreciate it if you hit that thumbs up button. And I also have a question for you. I've been considering doing another Amazon favorites type video. I have a lot of things specifically in the kitchen that I would like to share with you. So if that's something you'd be interested in, let me know in the comments below. I am going to link both of the bamboo organizers down below in the description box, but they are both off of Amazon and I highly recommend them. It sounds silly, but a simple change like this has just been so nice. So now I'm moving to the third drawer here and I'm actually going to use the organizers that I just took out of the other one. This one actually didn't have any organization to it before so I'm glad to reuse these ones and a bamboo one just really wouldn't work in this drawer because I have a few longer utensils and a rolling pin that I like to store in this drawer. Now I'm moving on to wiping down all of our kitchen cabinets. It's such an easy task, yet I always kind of procrastinate going through and wiping all of them down. It just feels really nice to get this done because I'm pretty sure I haven't done this since we had them redoored like six months ago. But I'm using the e-cloth again here. I just am getting it wet and wiping things down. It's doing a good job. But I have a question for you. For those who use an e-cloth, let me know what I need to use on our windows and mirrors. Do I use the polishing cloth? I haven't researched it enough to be honest with you, but so far I really like it for just wiping down the surfaces in the kitchen. Come on, why won't you reappear? Things that I said came out totally wrong. Can't speak of the truth when it's tainted. It got me stone cold
just say that I am so happy that fall is officially here now. You know, for a while there, I was looking like the crazy lady decorating for fall during the summer months had all my pumpkins and moms on my front porch but now i finally fit in a little bit more where we live the trees are all changing over colors and people are out decorating their front porches right now and it just brings me so much joy we're actually thinking about heading to a new pumpkin patch this weekend and i'm hoping to vlog that as well so i can share that with you next week so come on why won't you Moving over to our glass cooktop stove, I have an all-time favorite cleaning kit that I always use here, and so I will link that below in the description box, but it does an amazing job. It's also one of those things that it's very satisfying. You just take the little razor that comes with the kit and scrape off all of the burnt on grossness. And I'm pretty sure that's a word I just made up. I've been dancing on my own so bravely Steady steps on the ground Hate me, but I ain't never coming down Never coming down Cause lately, I've been dancing on my own so bravely I just wanted to say thank you so much for joining me for today's video. I hope that this one either motivates you to get some cleaning done or even organize that drawer or cabinet that's been driving you crazy like it was for me. It's one of those things where it feels nice to finally get that done and I always wonder why did I wait so long for it? The final space that I'm going to be cleaning though today is our kitchen sink and I'm actually going to be falling back on my tried and true Mrs. Meyers baking soda cream cleanser. It is just my favorite. It's also really good for cleaning inside a microwave if you're looking to try something new. I highly recommend this one. Steps on the ground hate me, but I ain't never coming down, never coming down. That's going to be it for today's video though. The kitchen is nice and clean. So I thought I would finish it off with styling the hearth and hand copper tray that I shared with you a while ago. I've been really liking restyling this each week. It kind of gives me my little decorating fix, but I found this little picture in the Target dollar spot. And then I'm just going to add some florals that I already had on hand to finish it off but thank you so much for watching today's video definitely check out the description box below for the hello fresh coupon code and i will see you in my next video bye guys <laughs>